What's up, everybody? Let's finally talk about the aquarium rack, how we built it. Uh, I think it's interesting, and I think you guys will enjoy it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, uh, so far, I mean, no issues. The thing's sturdy. So I guess let me kind of show you how I built the thing, and uh, we'll go from there, right? Here we go. Yeah, we set up a little 29. It's kind of in the way of showing you exactly what's going on here, but it's not a big deal. Because um, I can still show you. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so, you guys can see those two 2 by 4s right there. They're connected together. And they go from the top all the way to the bottom. Alright, now, how we did this was, on one side over here, I want you to notice this 2 by 4 or 2 by 6 now this 2x6 goes all the way across. I know there's only two screws here, but there's two on the other side that are holding this. And then this right here is just made into a box. And you can kind of see right there. It goes down, then it attaches here. That board there attaches to this. And then that board lays on this piece here, just like that. And then it goes straight across over here to the other side. And we have the same kind of thing. Uh, this is your support on the bottom. Obviously this is screwed into this. You can see like wood splits. You get problems when you're doing this and not pre-drilling. I didn't pre-drill. I know, I'm very naughty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see I got two screws here and then there's another one in the center, just like I had the single one on the other side. And then again, it's just boxed and laid on here. Then the aquarium actually, you know, it fits right on the box, you know, that's a that's as close as you can get to the edge right there. So we get as much meat as we can of the aquarium on the box. And then you repeat for however many you want to do. So look up on the top up there, I've got air pumps. There's one there and another one there. And so, you know, you're just going to repeat, go down. And the more you repeat, obviously the more stable this is going to get. And then, so I, let me kind of explain what we got going on. I keep getting out of focus. Come on. <laughs> there we go. All right, so on the bottom, I've got a 55. Um, that's the Curvensis tank. It's where they all breed. Uh, so the bottom is the same thing, but without the plate underneath it, obviously. Don't need a plate underneath it because it's on the ground. Um, you always want to put your heaviest tank on the bottom. And then, so we got the 55, four feet tall, or four feet uh, long, and then 12, 12 inches wide. And then I've got a 30 long there, and then I've got a 30 long there that's divided. We've already gone through this in other videos where you see my tents. So that's one rack. Now this is kind of an oddball thing, but it works because like my 29, the 20 long, and the 29, don't look at that tank, there's no finish in it, I promise. <laughs> so these are all 30 inches across, and then the width is the same. They're, they're it's not really 12 inches, it's more like, like 13, but anyway, you get the point. So, um, that one on the bottom, I've got a lot of weight there, and then I've got the 20 long in the center, so it's less weight, and then I've got weight again on the top. So, um, these are bits built similarly, in that I have a kit underneath it, a support there, a support there, you notice these are on the inside. The plan originally was to have this rack connected there and going to the wall, but uh, to be honest with you, I just ran out of space. There just wasn't enough room to get all this. I know it's a mess. Don't look. Eh, you can look out there. <laughs> but it was hard to get, you know, I got a 10 gallon, a 29, a 10, and a 10, and then I've got a 40 breeder, and then another 10. So it was hard to get all this... Um, you know, turned sideways to to fit in there. You can see the space, considering the, the length of the rack, right? So, anyway, this is how this one wound up getting built. Um, it's stable. I mean, I can sit here and pull and shake on it, and it, it doesn't move. Let me see if I can get there. Uh, anyway, I'm pulling on it down here, see? I mean, we're just not moving. <laughs> so, um... Trying to get this tank straightened out, so I get an out uh, filter on the outside there. Same with this one. Uh, the female Dovi is in here now, but she's back behind that coral, fake coral thing right there. So, you know, she doesn't want nothing to do with us. 
Uh, oh no, she's not. She's right there. Look at her. Say hi, pretty one. Anyway, she just ate, so she's just kind of chilling. Um, so as far as building your racks, you can do these individually. Like if you just wanted this rack, you don't need all the space in between them. Give yourself, mm, I'd say about 10 inches from one aquarium to the next. Um, you don't need anything big. My plan originally was to take that 30 long out and actually fit a 55 in there. That's why there's so much of a gap. So I might still do that. I haven't decided uh, what I want to do with the other 55 yet. So still thinking about it. Um, if not, I mean, I could always just undo the screws and then drop the tanks on. I don't think I'll ever do that, but you can. <laughs> uh, so the aquarium rack is pretty simple. If you're going to build like this rack right here where the 20 long and the 29s are, if you're going to build this by itself, you want to make these, this box right here, actually go on the outside of the board. And so you can, it'll actually brace it better. You notice on the top there's no brace. There's no need to have a brace up there because there's no real weight. It's just like a shelf hanging up there. Um, but you'll notice anything with weight, like right here, I have the brace underneath. But if you're going to do this as a standalone, not attached to something else, and you just wanted one, make these longer and make them go on the outside of the 2x4s here. And then you'll put your brace out here. So. Just keep that in mind. And it's just gonna give it more stability because it's wider. And the wider base on the bottom is important, that's key. Uh, if you don't have a wide base on the bottom, you will have problems. Uh, this thing will get wobbly, and I don't know if you've ever seen where somebody's whole rack just came flying forward because of all the weight. That's typically the main reason why, is that you don't have a, a wide base on the bottom, something to really anchor this in, so. Yeah, there you go. Um, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. I've got just two shelves here. Excuse the mess, guys. We're always doing something. Uh-oh. Look at the beta. He got from over here to over here using that tube right there. I had these two uh, aquariums connected. So he decided to go <laughs> into here. <laughs> Cool. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. Um, Alright, so here's the same kind of deal. Uh, you can see I had the brace, the box on the outside with the 2x4s on the inside, and that brace right there, same on the other end. You know, it's holding this thing up with all the weight that's on it. So, and then on the bottom, just again, simple. Uh, a nice solid base. Goes around on the outside of the 2x4s. The two and that's really all you need. Um, don't need anything too crazy really um, anyway guys if you have any questions about how to build this uh, I don't have the dimensions exactly on me because I built this a while ago and they're all in my head or written down in the trash somewhere I don't know <laughs> but if you have any questions about it uh, let me know I think it's hilarious how all the shrimp came through the tube and came over here and because the beta went through the tube and went over here. Yes, betas do eat shrimp. I know. You don't have to yell at me. Look at him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, guys. Alright, uh, so if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, um, please leave them in the comments. Uh, these racks are pretty cheap to build. It's not too expensive. I think totally lumber is spent... I don't know, somewhere in the vicinity of like 60, 70 bucks, somewhere in there. The screws are actually the most expensive at like 40. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to y'all later. You want to say bye? You want to say bye, little turd? Huh? You want to say bye? All right, guys, talk to y'all later. Oh, his name is Pig. Peace! <laughs>